Hey, what's good, you bunch of motherfuckers? It's your boy MC Swamp Tiger. Back with another roast vlog for that ass. This time, it's for that 4MC's by MC's corner piece event going down this Saturday, July 22nd at the Society in beautiful downtown Olympia. And for those of you that ain't familiar with the roast vlogs, what we're going to do here is I'm going to start from the bottom of the flyer and go to the top. I'm going to roast every motherfucker on the flyer. And whoever makes me laugh the most with their appearance or whatever gets that 30. No two ones, no debatables, no fucking bullshit. Just a straight 30 or nothing and you can go fuck yourself. So, let's go ahead and get into the first battle. We got Olympia's own Big Pork going up against... Canada's AA wrong from Smoked Out Battle League. Now, Big Pork for real looks like that fat dude from Penn and Teller got a job at HR Block and just like bought a bunch of sweater vests and shit. This dude looks like a fucking substitute math teacher. But then on the other hand, you got this dude AA wrong and this motherfucker, he just got the saddest eyes in the fucking game. Saddest eyes in the game. Always looks like he's been angry crying into a pillow. But I think we all know that battles aren't won on teen angst and sadness. So I think Big Pork gonna bring his fucking chubby substitute teacher ass in there and school him in a sweater vest. That's 30 Big Pork. Moving on. Next up, we got Just Ryan versus SOS. I like to call this battle the Battle of the Bears. Because SOS for real looks like Forrest Whitaker was a fucking animorph and tried to turn into a bear and, like, got stuck mid-process, you know what I mean? So now he's like some Forrest Whitaker fucking grizzly bear hybrid and shit. And then you got Just Ryan, and this motherfucker looks like a goddamn koala in the face, kung fu panda in the waist ass, motherfucker. And I gotta say, you know, I seen a panda in a movie once, and he was kicking some fucking ass, so I think kung fu panda waist about to get that 30. 30, panned over Grizzly, any day, any day, moving on, we got DL motherfucking Murray, 4MC zone, going up against Canada's, smoked out Battle League's former champion, Joey Malice, now DL Murray, for real looks like a lesbian firefighter, he shows up, got like hormone treatment to grow that sweet ass goatee, and then you got Joey Malice, over here looking like Kid Rock's Ill illegitimate son that he ain't proud of. And he always like trying to please his dad by doing like white trash shit. Like he bought a fucking T-Bird with the fucking, uh, with, with, with the T-top and all of that shit. And then he got that fucking sweet 90s undercut just like his dad. But he tied it back in a man bun. See, but that's it. See, I think a lesbian firefighter be fighting fires. Like that's, that's what lesbian firefighters do. So lesbian firefighter. 30, D.L. Murray, easy, moving on, we got A.M. versus The Truth, now A.M. for real looks like Lawrence Fishburne was playing a role in a movie as Neil deGrasse Tyson, look at the mustache, look at the mustache, that's a Neil deGrasse Tyson mustache if I ever fucking seen one in my goddamn life, and then he's going up against The Truth, now The Truth look like President Barack Obama and The Rock did a face swap and they came up with The Rock Obama, which I think is a dope combination. That's intelligence and strength. So that just makes him that much better. So I think The Rock Obama got that shit 30. Dunzo. Moving on. We got Draco going up against Furious Styles. Now, Draco. For real, got childbearing hips. This motherfucker got some wide-ass hips. This motherfucker look like he wearing half a Snuffleupagus costume and shit. And he going up against Furious Styles. And Furious Styles, for real, look like that little red-headed kid from the Sandlot. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me, Smalls. And that little kid from the Sandlot, he had some fucking game. And he talked hella shit the whole time. So, I'm going with Furious Styles 30. 30. You killing me, Smalls. Moving on. Then you got LS the zombie going up against Jay Rays, the city villain or the country villain. I'm not sure which one it is for the pin tourney two championship. The long awaited. We've been waiting for this for a long time to see LS who looks like 
Paul Mooney somehow got that fucking Stephen King thinner gypsy curse put on him and shit. And then you got fucking Jay Rays, who looks like he be modeling leather pants shirtless with glitter on his chest and shit. But I know that male models, they got like a rigorous training routine and a diet and shit like that. So I feel like Derek Zoolander with the glitter on his chest got this shit. 30, 30, Jay Rays, the town villain. And then we got the main event. The main event. This is the second battle for AKA in a week. He just battled just, and next he's battling Young Nate, main event at the corner piece. So we got AKA, and this motherfucker for real looked like Ice Cube decided to keep all of the wardrobe from when he was in Anaconda. So he just always looks like haggard in some old fucking safari clothes and shit. And then you got Young Nate. And Young Nate has the largest collection of colorful socks in the fucking game. This motherfucker got so many colorful socks that it makes Diverse's sock-like feet bar relevant. And it makes that bar fire. That's a lot of fucking socks. So if you're getting socked like Young Nate's feet, you getting socked a bunch of fucking times. So who, who do I think is going to win? Is it going to be fucking Anaconda wardrobe? Or is it going to be sock-like feet Young Nate? Now, I feel like... The Anaconda wardrobe versus the socks, that's the serious clash right there. What's more important, you know, function of fashion. You 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 never know which way this shit's going to go. You you have no idea. It's, it's preference, I guess. It's preference. But there ain't no fucking preference on a Swamp Tiger Roast vlog. And that dude from Anaconda got ate by a fucking snake. So I'm going with the socks like feet on my word to diverse. 30, 30, motherfucking young Nick. Now, to anybody that takes this shit way too serious and get all in their feelings, feel free to go fuck yourself. Peace.